Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you're an Unreal Engine developer, I have some great news for you. Uh, Epic have just released a whole ton of the assets from their 2017 game Paragon. Um, and without further ado, let's just jump in and take a look exactly what that means. We'll start with their announcement. Uh, so you can see here on their website at unrealengine.com, uh, they're saying it's $12 million worth of content. And that includes 20 AAA characters and 1,500 environmental components. Now, one of the questions we always get when this kind of stuff happens is, if you're using anything other than Unreal Engine, this is absolutely useless to you. So if you're a Unity developer, a Godot developer, or using another game engine, you cannot use these assets in any way, shape, or form. But if you are a Unreal Engine developer, you can use them pretty much without limitation. So let's just jump in and take a look at what these assets are. In order to grab them, you head on over to the marketplace, search for the word Paragon, and these are them. So basically there are 20 characters, uh, each one weighs in about 1 to 1.5 gigabytes in size. Um, to grab one, basically just click on it and then say add to your game, pick the project you want to go in, and it copies all the files over. Now keep in mind, it is going to take some time. These are very complicated, so there's a lot of shaders being compiled, etc. in the background. And then on top of that, we have all the level content. And that is available here. Now this guy is about 16 or 17 gigabytes in size, and it took my computer a long time to open this one up. So do be aware of that, but that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at, um, once you've loaded it in, uh, the content will be available here. You can see it will be under Paragon Props. And the level I opened up was Agora, and I opened this map here. Now, I'm not going to make the mistake of doing that again, because again, loading this map took forever. But basically, that map is a demonstration of all the various different assets that are available in this pack. And we're going to look at all of them right now. So here you can see one example asset. It's a flower, a couple different variants of it. And that is just the beginning. So let's let's navigate through all of the various pieces. So you see really nice texturing work on them. Uh, normal maps, um, occlusion maps, uh, etc. So you got nice um, nice shaders going on with this guy. Good moss on it. And let's just start going through some of the assets that are available. And every one of these things, you can just click it. You can place it in your game. So it's selectable. Like so drag it around, place it however you wish. And let's continue our journey. So there are a fair number of nice AAA quality assets in this particular pack as we go and go and go and go and it keeps going and going and going. And then behind the scenes there are trees and other assets you can use as well. But. As you can see, this pack has quite a few assets in it, and I think I'm literally at about the halfway mark right now. So we'll just keep going on the tour. Uh, and going, and going. And then when we get to the end, we will see one of the characters in action. But as you can see, they're really nice quality assets. They look really good. Um, they're game ready. Again, you could literally just drop it in and go. But we are getting to the end, and you will notice a fellow standing there as we get closer and closer and closer there he is oh where'd he go hey where'd he go huh i swore i placed the guy in the scene i guess i didn't oh well he's in the oh that might be him right there there he is so here is one of the example characters placed in the scene so you have an idea of uh, what the characters would look like, but don't worry, we'll look at that guy in much more detail over here in the editor. And here is an example of one of the character packs downloaded, uh, Savarog or something. I never actually played the game, so no idea if I'm saying that right. Uh, but this is one particular example character. You can see there's particle assets on it. It's very, very high quality. Uh, you're looking at uh, just shy of 100,000 polygons behind this guy. Uh, very well mapped out. And then on top of that, we have several different animations available on him. Um, I'm going to preview the different animations available. Uh, but yeah, that this is a full-blown game-ready AAA character, completely rigged, animated, ready to go. So you can go into skeleton mode, open up the editor there. So you can see there's the, uh, the armature controlling this guy. Um, as you can see, we've got some special effects. I don't know if there's any physics going on here. We go up the physics editor. There's the different, I guess we've got a collision box going on around him, different physics setups going on. Um, so yeah, you got a full-blown, fully defined, fully fleshed out character, extremely high quality. And this is, again, one of 20 available characters. So really high resolution detail, um, ready to drop in, ready to use. And again, we go on back, 
we have all these various different assets that are available as well. Oh yeah, I gotta minimize this guy. All the various assets that are available for your game as well. Really high quality, really good work, uh, really cool stuff. So if you are a um, Unreal Engine game developer and you wanna take a look at some AAA assets in action, uh, it's a very cool move from Epic. You know, they keep doing this stuff. They Just uh, a couple months ago, they released a sci-fi Blade Runner type scene. Uh, really high quality for it. And then a couple years ago, they released, oh, is it called Eternity Blade? A game for iOS. One of the first AAA style games released for mobile. Uh, they released all the assets for it. So there are a ton of assets out there for you to play around with. Now, of course, you're going to want to check how much you use this kind of stuff because, you know, you're going to have throwaway games being thrown up on Steam being made using these assets. That's what happens when you get a free asset pack. So they will become recognizable very quick. So be careful in how you use them or modify them to your needs, etc. But there's some pretty awesome stuff here. It's a very cool move by uh, by Epic. It's, it's nice to see um, older game titles being uh, released this way. And uh, just an all-around classy move by Epic. So if again, if you are a Unreal Engine game developer, uh, Merry Christmas. Kind of a cool day today. I uh, hope you found that useful. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I imagine you're going to hear a lot more from me this week. GDC is going on. Hopefully we'll see a lot of uh, very cool announcements like this one in the following week. All right, that's it for now. I will see you all later. Goodbye.